Hello everyone, I'm Coyote Jack, and well, there is this discourse over Crapcon finally showing that they are so full into ESG, but first, we have to show this one. <sighs> In case you are not aware of, but well, I'm going to tell you that probably is not the case. Everyone knew this, but still they were just scooping and seeing about the sad truth about Crapcom. So we have this one. Four years have passed since Crapcom ransomware leaks exposed the company's DEI approach, partnership with globalist organizations and pushing ESG to the customers. Everything was 100% absolutely true. Yeah, it was true and we have... Let me open this one here. Crapcom Ransor Leaks, Resident Evil Battle Royale, Monster Hunter Rise Heads to PC, and Politically Correct Businesses, Strategies, and more. This is from a headline from each gamer. I recognize that. And this is from 2020, November 16. So, LGHD TV, uh, the toning down characters. Women can also be the main character. It's like they they forgot that they had Gil Valentine. Well, HGTBQs are treated as equal with other characters. Uh, so, you know, bisexuality, all about sexuality. Then we have a second one. Loose costumes and equipment. Oh, and I remember this one when Street Fighter V got censored. They're okay with showing with sexualizing men like Ryu, but if you do the bot attack like Mika that he used to have in the past, oh no, no, we have to censor that. And probably, yeah, Monster Hunter Iceborne got censored too. The customs, and of course, gender and diversity with pushing the androgynous shit. To confuse people, and honestly, to that point, I wouldn't mind having all of that ugliness characteristics only because someone wants to make a character as a tro as a fucking joke, uh, at least a type of joke character. But fucking hell, saying like body type A, a body type B, but pisses me off because they are so fully into it that they say yeah, their biology is a social construct. And this, this is one. Um, I just going to show you something that is saying that the get. I bet the artist was laughing their asses off when they heard this. I don't see big difference in the way crap designing women, and they actually were made more sexy in Resident Evil 4. That's a full equivalence. They put. Either more nerfed, more censored, less sexiness, and with a bland personality. And then you have fucking Ashley that was just trying to be like a strong woman, despite that she was a fucking, she was fucking kidnapped. She was the, the mistress that needed to be rescued. So continuing with this, is because all of this. Crap con localization team. They announced this shit that everyone at this point is, knows that it's about lowest common denominator swap to an audience that doesn't exist and don't play video games. Or maybe some of them do, but they're just a little, little tiny fraction. And they just build their homosexual canos bands of the original story that doesn't have to do anything with sexuality. And just looking at this, it got fucking ratioed. Look at the comments, the retweets, and the likes. And we have Sial here. Make your game for the non-existent mother audience and you receive their non-existent money. <laughs> ah, that's true. That's absolutely true. How about you translate the games and leave everything else alone? You don't need to have things for or the modern audience. If you are going to do that, make an entirely new game. That's the thing, they don't know how to do that anymore. They just make the decisions by a committee 
and they have zero creativity there. This non-existent because they say, oh, we have this existing piece, we have to mix them dry. And there's very likely going to come a time in the near future when even when you wish you would have deleted this post quickly. I don't think so, my friend. I, I agree with what you say, but I don't think so. Why? Because in the past, Cramcom has been shit. I bought Resident Evil 6 at launch. I was mad, not because the game had fun service, it's because it was supposed to be a franchise about fucking survival horror and then turning it in fucking years of war. Kraken has been shit like this. It has always been like this in the past. Now when they finally are go heading to bankruptcy, they suddenly, suddenly turn the tide on, on all of this shit and they... Is, they are like, oh man, we need to fucking do something or we are going to actually go bankrupt. And as soon as they feel that they are safe after giving people what they want, they go back to be shit like this. The only good, good way to make all of this fucking corpus to give people what they want is when you are pushing them at the brink of bankruptcy. That's the only way, so you are at a point that, oh, this good game, okay, then this one look ass, I'm not going to buy it, this one look the same, on the same shit, I don't, I'm not going to buy it, I'm going to stick to the old one, until they finally give you something half decent, and with fan service, and with a good content, with decent story, no fucking homosexuality propaganda, I'm going to buy it, probably, but at a discount. I'm not going to give you my money at launch because I know you are going to feel that you are going to backstab me. But so funny, for sadly, for consumers, consumers keep consuming. And that's the discourse of all of this shit Crapcon is actually making everyone talk about. People warned them when the reason what happened four years ago. And... They just ignored it and they were attacking each other. They were saying, oh, you are just mental. Look how good this shit is. And honestly, are you surprised about all of this? That's why I, I say that, yeah, consumers get the industry they fucking deserve. Gamers who are just are blindless consumers get the industry they fucking deserve. Zero sympathy for them. I'm being honest with this. And just to show you something that was shared here, because there is this part. Cultural sensitivity in characters. Character design and development must be culturally sensitive. Oh, sorry, it's crap coming in Japan. What my acceptable, we want culture might be offensive in another. Localizers play a crucial role in ensuring the characters are relatable and respectful. Avoiding stereotypes of other references that could be perceived as negative in specific cultures. And yeah, I'm just trying to make a very bad stereotype impression because fucking hell, crap con doesn't deserve the sympathy for me. And even that, I'm really pissed that Japan is just deciding to cock in themselves up just as much as the West. And that's why fucking South Korea, which they are turning to that because they wreak they hit rock bottom with feminism and wokeness that they're just saying, you know what, since Crabcon want to appease to these globalists instead of giving customers what they want, I'm going to eat their fucking lunch. And meet what the globalists in China, oh, look, the plant work, they are cocking themselves out, let's just get in. And you have these new games from, like, from the developers from Azure Lane and giving you fan service sexiness. And just to continue with what this post got mentioned it is, but never mind about when, wanting Dark Stalkers to come back. They need to stay dead for this reason. I absolutely agree. And just commenting this one. As much as I would love a new Dark Stalker game, Kraken seems like they are keen on shooting themselves in their own food for an audience that never existed. Yeah, that's true. 
Best I can tell you is make your own spiritual successors and show them how it's done. And I thought I agree one. And just to show you, yeah, indeed. And that's exactly what I'm trying to do. Everyone is trying to do that. And honestly, I just hope they do that with open source tools. Just so people can spread the knowledge and help each other to construct a industry that will be growing out of the ashes of the old one. And most importantly is gatekeeping. And speaking of gatekeeping, we have these ones. Because when you don't gatekeep, or even when you claim you are just appealing to both sides, you are neutral. These people are not neutral. At least in, the, in this case, when it comes to Canadians. Funny how that works. So we have this one. This one has been even the trending. Some ordinary Canadians. So, in case you don't know for the context, Mutarhar has been taking L after fucking L. They, uh, he's just spreading fucking nonsense. He attacked anime and lolicon content. They, but this fucking piece of shit that I really hope he goes to Mexico to get what he fucking deserves, he laughs at a people being beheaded by the cartels. Send him to Mexico. He, get him to know what's funny. If he thinks that, oh man, I'm a pedophilia with fucking lonely content, but I'm I'm laughing my ass off with all this poor uh, this dude that got kidnapped by the cartels and being his head slid out of his body. <sighs> and see, this one really pisses me off because I. I saw he, this, this fucking Indian, well, sorry, no, never mind, I'm not going to apologize for that, yeah, this fucking Indian, they are just from the same kind, they tend to be so fucking woke, and, and mix that with can Canada, you are going to see the same derailment shit as we can see with short fat otaku, and... showing you this, because yeah, we have a screenshot, the public knows what mo makes Mura tick. I remember that fucking video with that other anime cock. Well, this cock that decided to say the same shit about lolling on content despite he grew up on all this based on anime and manga. No Looks taco. Yeah, looks taco. That fucking cock. During that time, he was saying, oh man, I, uh, Muta had just sent me all of these behaviors in Mexico. He He's a fucking degenerate psychopath and probably it, oh, uh, he started doing this shit and funny enough he attacked me I'm going to show you that but here's what we have we say here this is the best description of American culture right now over the top violence toilet humor and anything the buy-in like birth sex or homosexuality is championing and promoted even to mainstream audience with shows like Rick and Morty but anything that is feminine, even when fully clothed, is considered pro content. And look at this. Funny thing, he's an Indian living in Canada. Putin proving American culture spec like like. I'm going to say that Indians are turning in the walk. And they are, it's just fucking insane. They, it, they were, Indians were always walk, if you think about it, when you go to the US and then you are, they are near Canada. Just remember the previous replacement for Jack Dorsey before Elon Musk took over. He was far worse. Or the current CEO of YouTube is a Indian American, and all of those companies are Indian Americans. They they tend to be woke by a lot, and they they think they have the high morale because oh look. I'm from a third fucking country that got exploited by corrupted deals with the government and the US to have technology. I learned it too, so much. I'm far better than you. And just like, oh yeah? Then why do you didn't stay in your country? That. <laughs> well. And I, I told you that I'm going to show you the reply this fucking idiot did here. It's this one. Yeah, your argument starts to fail on its ass when AI is used to modify a real human to fit its standards. 
He has AI derangement syndrome. Ah, I just fucking tired of these clowns. I love how they also the part. This is also the part of the massive follow lord you want to especially preserve so but for some reason. No. He also misses the top half of her body too, by the way. And he wants to have a false equivalence on him having a gacha. This is just sad and pathetic. Ah oh, man. Just remember what this piece of shit likes to cheer. He loved that so much. He blatantly admitted it. And he wants to even start drama and an ad apocalypse. Because, funny enough, he actually retweeted. He knows who B is. He, who know, he knows who is the Romanian. And he is... Starting a fucking ad apocalypse. Canada is the land of the special. I was going to say that. It's like they just having something in the world push it up to have to be to have these levels of derangement. They, it has to do something with the water. Uh, that's my bet <laughs> because otherwise, how you will explain this? Even people. Even Canadians that used to be okay, they are just fucking deranged. Well, oh well. That's pretty much everything I needed to say here. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a pretty good day.